for this DIY, you're gonna need an old candle or any kind of jar, but I find it's best and more resourceful to just use an old candle. So I'm removing this label from an old Bath & Body Works candle, and if you freeze the candle, the leftover wax at the bottom comes very hard, and then you could just kind of pop it out with a butter knife, just kind of break it, and then all the pieces will come out really easily. All you have to do then is wash it out, and it is good to go. It looks like brand new. Then I'm taking three wicks and you could get these off of Amazon like in a big bundle or from a craft store and I'm taping these to the bottom. You could also hot glue them. Either way works and I'm using three. That way it doesn't just burn a hole through the very center since it's a bigger size jar. So then with the top of the wicks, I'm wrapping them around a pencil just so when I pour the wax in, they don't kind of move around. So you could just do this temporarily and it's okay if you curl it a bit because they, that part's going to get cut off. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and boil a little bit of water. This pot is only about a third full. And then I'm putting a glass container inside to make like a double boiler. Um, it's We did this in the DIY lipstick video, so it's a very similar concept. So then I'm just taking some soy wax chips, which I also got off of Amazon. I get everything off of there basically. Um, but then just go ahead and pour about a pound in. So I did about a little bit more than two cups and let it melt. It melts pretty quickly, so I just kind of stir it around to help it melt a little bit faster but once it's completely melted you could go ahead and take it out from the pot next I'm using these scents which I did buy off of Amazon but I was very skeptical because I didn't know if I was going to like them since I couldn't smell them but it was a little fall like bundle pack and I absolutely love every single one of these I'm gonna be using the pomegranate cider for this candle but they all smell so good and on the little jar, it tells you what the flash point is for pouring it into the wax. So once your wax is at that temperature, go ahead and pour the scent in. This was a one ounce bottle and you wanna do about one ounce of scent per pound of melted wax and then go ahead, pour it in and let it cool. Once it's cooled, you could remove your pencils and go ahead and trim them. I'm absolutely in love with the way these smell. They came out so, so good. And it works out to be about less than $5 per candle, which is a lot more inexpensive than going to Bath & Body Works. So if you want to, you could wrap it in twine or something cute, but I already had a candle jar, so I just stuck it in there, lit it, and then it is ready to go. It smells so good, guys. I couldn't recommend these scents enough. I hope you enjoyed this DIY Thursday. If you're new to my channel, every Thursday I do a DIY, but I also post on Tuesday and Saturday as well. And this was like my first of many fall DIYs I have planned for this month. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really excited that it's starting to turn into fall time. Um, so if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe and also click that like button. And I will see you all Saturday for a brand new video. Bye.